Replacing an AccuDraw 50 or AccuDraw 50 sled power spring. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a power spring in an AccuDraw 50 or AccuDraw 50 sled unit. 10 point part number HCA 451 AccuDraw 50 retraction power spring is required. Do not attempt to use a substitute. Note, you must remove the AccuDraw 50 unit completely to replace the power spring. You will need the following to complete the replacement. An AccuDraw 50 retraction power spring, part number HCA-451. A 564 inch Allen wrench. A 532nd inch Allen wrench. One or two number eight common nails. In addition, you will or may need the following items. One pair of AccuDraw 50 draw cords, part number HCA-450. One replacement AccuDraw 50 sled with handles and cords, part number HCA-444. A Phillips head screwdriver. A flathead screwdriver. A 332nd inch Allen wrench. Note. Due to the length of the draw cords after their removal, replacement AccuDraw 50 draw cords, part number HCA-450, or AccuDraw 50 sled with handles and cords, part number HCA-444, may be required. Start by removing the AccuDraw 50 or AccuDraw 50 sled cover screws and covers. Then, pull both AccuDraw 50 hooks and handles, or the AccuDraw 50 sled, all the way out and attach to the bowstring. Cut or untie the draw cords. Once you cut and or remove the second cord, the axle will or may spin, causing the power spring to unwind. Note, due to their short length, you may not be able to reuse the draw cords once they have been cut. If your AccuDraw 50 or AccuDraw 50 sled is equipped with a universal mounting plate and an adjustable rubber butt plate, use a 332nd inch Allen wrench and a flathead screwdriver to loosen or remove the butt plate. Then, use a 332nd inch Allen wrench to remove the two 832 by 1 quarter inch button head cap screws holding the unit in place on the left side of the stock. Now, slide the unit out of the right side of the stock. Use a 532nd inch Allen wrench to remove the black plastic washer and quarter 20 by 3 8 inch button head cap screw from the left side of the unit. Note. Older units may have a large white plastic washer instead of the black one. Then, remove screws number one, number two, number three, and number four from the right side plate. If you have a pre-2017 stock, remove the left side plate, then the right side plate and axle. Don't worry about the spring coming out of the unit at this point. If you have a quick install style stock, remove the left side plate and universal mounting plate from the unit. Then, using a 564 inch Allen wrench, remove the 632 by 3 8 inch button head cap screw holding the end of the spring attached to the axle. 
Line up the flat end of the replacement power spring over the axle. Make sure the axle has the recessed flat area facing up. Then, reinsert the button head Allen screw into the new spring and axle. Insert screw number four into the right side plate. Slide the loop end of the power spring over the screw. Slide the left side plate over the axle. Insert screw number four into the left side plate and finger tighten. Wind the retraction spring clockwise or forward until tight. Make sure the smaller hole, non-countersunk, on the right axle is facing forward once you are finished winding the spring. Partially insert a number 8 common nail from right to left through the empty holes at the top, front of the unit. Note: Disregard instructions for the first nail if your unit has a silver spacer attached through the empty hole on the right side. Then. Insert another number 8 common nail into the non-countersunk hole in the axle and let it come to rest under the first nail or silver spacer. If you are reinstalling the AccuDraw 50 unit in a pre-2017 stock, follow the installation steps on our website at Instructional Videos Cocking Devices How to Install an AccuDraw 50 in a pre-2017 stock if you are reinstalling the AccuDraw 50 or AccuDraw 50 sled unit in a 10-point Horton or Wicked Ridge quick install style stock, follow steps 11 through 15. Loosen the quarter 20 by 3 quarter inch button head cap screw number 4 only far enough to free it from the left side plate. Place your right thumb or index finger against the head of the Allen screw and the spring loop to keep it from slipping out. Then, remove the left side plate while wrapping the fingers on your right hand around the retraction spring and the right side plate. Make sure the retraction spring remains flat against the right side plate and screw number four remains in place. Reinstall the universal mounting plate Then reinstall the left side plate. Squeeze the two side plates together with your left hand. Then tighten screw number four into the left side plate until it is finger tight. Reinsert and finger tighten screws number 2, number 3, and number 1 in that order on the right side of the unit. Then, use the 5 inch Allen wrench to tighten. Reinstall the black washer and quarter 20 by 3 8 inch button head cap screw on the left side of the unit. Follow the installation steps on our website at Instructional Videos, Cocking Devices, How to Install an AccuDraw 50 in a 10-point quick install style stock, or 
How to install an AccuDraw 50 in a Wicked Ridge quick install style stock. For more information, please contact our customer service department at 330-628-9245 and choose option 2.